Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the Harvey Wallbanger. But first, this. Before I get into this, this comes to us requested by Joanne on Facebook. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, let's get into the history. Now, the history of the Harvey Wallbanger is reputed to have been invented in 1952 by three-time world champion mixologist Donato Duke Anton, and named after a surfer frequenting his Black Watch Bar in Los Angeles. However, culinary historian Robert Simonson goes so far as to say that no sane person could ever believe that. And because there's no historical evidence of a Black Watch Bar ever existing, and that Anton lived in Connecticut at the time. But David Wander emphasizes the role of McKeeson Imports Company in marketing for the developing and creation of this drink, as well as creating the Wallbanger Surfer Dude in the 1960s. Now, some interesting facts. The Harvey Wallbanger was the puppet character who ran the dead letter post office in the Canadian children's show, The Hilarious House of Fright and Sign. I watched that as a kid. That tells you how old I am. Now, the rapper and producer Tony D used this the alias Harvey Wallbanger on some of his releases, and that's probably wasn't when he wasn't happy with the finished piece. And the last one, and I'm not sure about this one, the SAS sometimes referred to C4 Explosive as Harvey Wallbanger. Now, if you've served with that group of individuals, please leave a comment down below and let us know if that's true or not. But in film, for sure, I can tell you that this can be seen in See No Evil, Hear No Evil from 1989, starring Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. And of course, it can be seen in The Big Bang Theory, Season 4, Episode 7. Well, let's get into making the Harvey Wallbanger. So first here, I'm going to use my Collins glass. And I'm going to build this drink directly in the glass, so we're going to add some ice. Okay, so for this, we need 2 ounces or 60 mils of vodka, and I'm going to use Crystal Head Vodka here. Starting to get a bit low. Uh, if you guys happen to want to give us another one of these, I'd be more than happy to uh, continue to have this on the show. Okay, now we need four to six ounces of fresh orange juice. Now, I remember the last time I tried doing something with oranges, I spilled my drink everywhere. And I did that using the Tequila Sunrise, and I'll put that up there. So instead of using my uh, my bare hands to do this, I'm going to use a trick that we have that uh, some bartenders use, because you're going to use something to squeeze this first, right? So you can use your tongs to squeeze the juice. And let me tell you, this doesn't work the way I expected it to. Somebody lied to me. My friend lied to me. And um, I'm not sure how that just happened. So I guess I'm going to squeeze it by hand because I have no choice. <laughs> you know, you try and do things the right way, right way for you guys on, uh, on this. So I want to give you the correct, correct advice. But apparently, I'm squeezing it all over myself. That's, uh, <laughs> there's nothing I can say. That just sounds really bad. So, then we'll squeeze a little bit more. And you're gonna get about an ounce or two ounces uh, per uh, orange here. So I gotta uh, clean this little mess up here. So. Now we're gonna give this a little bit of a mix here with our spoon. Okay. And you know what? I think we need one more ice cube just because. And now what we need, depending on your recipe, some will call for half an ounce or an ounce of Galliano. So 15 or 30 mils of the uh, Galliano. Now Galliano is a uh, vanilla liqueur. And we're just going to float this on top. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use, um, 
Gonna try it with half and half first. And when I use my spoon, I'm just gonna float it on top to give it a nice, not that you can tell by looking at this. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to garnish this with an orange slice. And not only am I going to use an orange slice, I'm also going to use one maraschino cherry for a little bit of color. And here you go, the Harvey Wallbanger. Now this is a bit of a, a riff on what you would call a, a screwdriver, that just being vodka and orange juice. The Galliano gives us a, another vanilla flavor on top of that. If you think I should be using a different type of vodka or different type of drink or alcohol at all, let me know in the description below, please. That is really good. The, the vanilla just sitting just on top of the orange juice comes in and it gives the whole thing a nice flavor. You don't get anything out of the alcohol at all or the vodka. This is an A-list drink. You know, Joanne, you've got good taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the uh, ingredients in the description down below. And if you have any comments on whether I should do anything differently, Leave one, leave a, leave a comment. I cannot speak English today. I'm having a problem. But if you're new here, please like and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you can get notifications every time we place a new video. And if you didn't like this video and you didn't find it helpful or useful or even entertaining, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time.